we are who we are greatly to the legacy and to the hard work of my late father, Dr. Zain al for those of you who have lived here long enough would know Bakr Mohabi. We are here to meet his grandson, Mr. Muhammad Mohabi, and his son, Mr. Mahmoud Mohabi. We want to understand the legacy that has been left behind by Bakr Mohabi. I started back in 1994 when I finished my education out of Switzerland. I came and I started working with my father. He was my mentor, he was my role model, and I truly learned a lot from him much more than university taught me. The practical experiences, not only theoretical, but the life journey that he went through has been an invaluable part to who I am today, not only as a businessman, but also who I, who I am as an individual, as a husband and as a father. We are who we are greatly to the legacy and to the hard work of my late father, Dr. Zain al Mohabi. My grandfather and my family were very well known in the market for halwa sellers. They used to make the best halwa sweets uh, and he was very well known to them. And a reputation was built around them. So as the city grew, all right, those people that were in the trade that were known, obviously also grew uh, with the city and the country. It's been an interesting journey because back in the 1930s, life was very different, right? And then in 1971, the United Arab Emirates was formed. So there was a new opportunities that came along with it. And so I think what I have learned, uh, not only from the stories of my late grandfather, but also seeing what, how my father uh, ran the organization, I think the story is one of adaptability as a family, as a city, as a country. I learned that from my father because the way he was running things in the early days was very different than when he was running things, for example, in the year 2000. A lot of the ways of doing business in the 60s and 70s and 80s may have not applied. It was embracing that change, being at the forefront of that change, in many areas actually being a leader of that change, is why we are here today. And you're interested to do the story. We are all the sum of our experiences. From 1970, I start working with my brother. Now, that month I was in the school. From 70 I start. Up to now, I'm continuing with Mr. Muhammad. So I'm working with them. I do know that trust and integrity was right there at the very top. Respecting others and not underestimating anybody. I think being relatively cautious was important. I know my late father was never one to be a speculative person. He was always very fundamental oriented. If it fundamentally makes sense, go for it. If it doesn't, don't do it. I think another thing that I, I learned from him was his ability to control his own appetite when it comes to success. That was, I think, perhaps one of the more difficult things as a young man coming out of Switzerland and joining the family business and having all these ideas and then being kind of held back initially and always reassessing because it was always that extra hunger for a growth at any cost that would get you into trouble. So I learned from him that be more strategic, whatever investments you're doing, how related is it to your core, move away from speculation and grow slowly but surely. We are, as an organization, we are quite aggressive, uh, but we're not all over the place. We're strategic and we don't jump into things just to jump into them. So those are the lessons which I learned from him amongst many others. It's always nice when you meet successful people who are so humble and grounded about it. Do you know of other families like this? Do let us know. Until next time, this is Anjana Kumar for Gulf News.